Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we are flying through the air on our whale. Uh, we're going to the uh, Tower of Lost Time over here. We're finally going to meet up with Serenica and advance the main plot some more. And, uh, yeah, I'm showing you this from the whale flying because I don't know what's going to happen when we arrive here. I don't know what cutscenes are going to be like. I guess we're not going to have anything about arrival, but still. That way you see where it is. I always see all those little blue spirits around. And we'll come up here. Yep, we're going to put the Wheel of Time in. Still kind of cool. It worked. That's grand. Let's go and meet Serenica, shall we? Come on, laddie. We have a date with destiny. All right. Um, I'm also, a past gameplay me is also wondering if the treasures are back, so I'm going to take the... Uh, the extravagant, the overly extravagant, time-consuming route to get to the treasure. Yeah, this is a little bit, uh, again, over the top with the time it takes just to wait for these elevators. Yeah, that is the closest thing to elevators we're getting here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to run around and check the treasure. Spoiler alert, there's not going to be anything there. And I'll be disappointed. Uh, so meantime, I will briefly discuss something else. Uh, as I mentioned before, I've been playing through Dragon Quest V to do a uh, comparison, decide, make a decision on which one I like better as my favorite Dragon Quest game. And while I haven't completely played through Dragon Quest V again, I've I feel like I've played through enough of it to come to a conclusion. And my conclusion is I have some issues. There's some issues with Dragon Quest V that aren't present in Dragon Quest XI as far as game balance goes. And uh, I, I didn't really feel like, you know, gameplay-wise, we, we ever encountered a point that felt, you know, too difficult or too much of a difficulty spike or, or something along those lines. Dragon Quest V, there's multiple points in the game where... You know, you get some new characters, but they're really low level, so you have to grind them up. And, you know, right now I'm looking at, you know, the kids we get. Um, which is our main character's kids. Uh, yeah, I'm spoiling some of the plot, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so they arrive in your party, and they're at level 5, so you have to train them up a little bit. The problem is, the enemies, for the most part, got tougher. And... There's a good number of enemies that will use, like, a strong breath attack or um, cast lightning bolts on everyone. Uh, and they can even do that if they're silenced, uh, because I guess that's how their ability works. And it does... the breath attacks do, like, 40 to 50 damage to all party members. The lightning does 50 to 60 damage to all party members and your two kids start with less than 100 health. So they're getting like one to two shotted, even if you give them like the best equipment at the time. And it, it really becomes quite a hassle to uh, level them up and catch them up. Are you Serenica? And I'm not a fan of that. And then that's not the first time that's hat sort of thing has happened in that game. Serenica, this is not the name. Anyways, we have cutscenes, so we'll come back to that thought. The Dark One has returned, and, well, we need you to give us the power to save the world. Save the world. 
What, has Serenica lost her memory? Yes, Serenica. This was your flute. I find it odd that the timekeeper, the keeper of like all memories and time and stuff, is like lost her own memory. A little bit ironic. The memory is faint, but yes, it is there. And yet, the flute I remember was. Different. Mightier. Okay, so how do we fix the flute? Or you can just do it for us. It can play but one melody, but it is a great one, the sacred one, a song. Awakening, a song handed down through the years. Oh, I is that the uh, that song? yeah, is that Veronica? Serena's main song that she's played before? Rejoice, rejoice, the time is come. Arise. Awaken, Holy One! We offer unto you the skies. Fly free once more! Arise! Arise! And it's, it's actually not that tune that I was expecting. Okay, whatever. Actually, a beautiful piece of music. I like it. Just the, the music itself is kind of saying, you know, here's the power to save the world. Oh, here we go. Luminary powers activate. Looks pretty cool. I just kind of faded into our whale. Oh. And our whale is now getting the armor upgraded. Great we needed. Oh, and there's the horn. Mess with the whale, you get the horn. <laughs> that's, that's how this works. Now our whale is talking. I think she's trying to tell us something. But know this. 
The Dark One is powerful beyond imagining. A trial awaits you. Beneath once mighty Zvard's rust, a means to test thy metal ere the final fight begins. Oh, hey, we know where that is. That's a place that's Go been sealed to away me. since uh, since we first saw it. Go to Drusten. Drusten is there. Okay. And when the time comes, when you would pierce the wall that guards him. I stand ready to serve you. That's kind of cool that we get to meet uh, the three companions of the old we legendary hero Erdwin. The main event sounds like just what we need. I reckon we could do worse than pay Svard's rest a visit. He's right. This is one battle we can't be too prepared for. Let's go get fighting fit before we take him down. Well, I already did level grinding, but uh, yeah. We'll... We'll check out these, uh, whatever Drustin has for us. So I'm guessing it, we were supposed to do this first. Uh, and then this is kind of the game telling you, hey, go around and level up your characters, and then you can go solve all the problems at the towns and whatnot. And all that stuff is kind of there to help you level up and prepare for... Uh, Kalasma. So I, I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we will be strong enough to take on Kalasmus right now. But still, uh, we're going to go check out, you know, whatever uh, is at the ruins of Zwar's Rust here. And we'll just zoom there, like the game is handing at us too. that music there. Really cool. That is one, that's another thing that I don't think I've complimented this game enough on uh, alongside the some of the views and the nature and, and that and the atmosphere. And uh, that would be the music. The music is very, very well done, very fitting, very uh, pleasant, very Dragon Quest-y. I'm going to drop a save because I don't know what's going to happen. Well, post-commentary me knows what's going to happen, but uh, past gameplay me here does not know. We have, that's another side quest that I don't really care about. But as I'm moving away, I stop and turn around because I notice two purple dots there on the side questing. And there's still a side quest that I haven't been able to accept yet. And so I'm wondering if maybe that's one of them. And... But then I come back over here and I'm like, oh yeah, the other one is the uh, guy pointing at the docks that, that we got the very first time we came through here in Act 1, where we need to kill something with the pep-up power that I just... And the rewards is like a robe that is going to be really inferior to anything that we have gotten since then. So, I have no desire to finish that side quest. Alright, we come down the, the stairs. And hey, the seal on this is gone now. Well, that's convenient. And we have a labyrinth entrance. Over teleporter here. Okay. Well, let's see where this takes us. The realm between World Drustin's Labyrinth. Now, this place looks really weird. And there's, at least as far as I can tell, there's no point to wandering off any other way. We have a, uh, restoration and save statue here 
I don't know what the purpose of having that sort of between thing is here. But, uh, okay. Not going to save it because uh, I don't know what's going on. Dresden's Labyrinth, Path to Trial Island. Trial Isle. We need to get to where... This is the Snarfat. It's kind of a recolored Snarfat. Are these new enemies? No. They... Oh, they're red eyes. They're vicious. They're not the malicious breed of monsters. They're the vicious breed of monsters. And so because of their presence, I'm wondering if maybe the game intended us to go through this before traveling the world and dealing with all the malicious stuff. And this is kind of a means to prepare you for that. In that case, I'm just doing things like way completely out of order. Which that's fine. Uh, this this is a blind playthrough. I'm I'm sure I mentioned this at the beginning of the game. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> yeah, this is this is definitely a blind playthrough. And so you know, whatever happens, happens. And this is the way we go about things. And this is the way we went about things. Uh, what happens if I exit this area and go up here? There's question marks. Did they just like recreate the whole? I can zoom. I don't, I don't think I want to zoom. That might actually take us out of here. Let's just... Um... That's not normal. Okay, let's fight this dragon. Because I don't have much better to do. Um, we can kill the... Probably should have left the Dragon Slime alone and killed it with it. I think I'm going to try and use Dragon Slash with Jace there. That's probably why I did it like that. Oh, dang. Nice damage output there. And Serena, yeah, why don't you do something? Now we take out the dragon. <laughs> oh, that kind of hurt. I forget how much these uh, Otter Shambles guys have, the, the, the health these Otter Shambles guys have. Quite a bit. Did I do all right? Okay. So I guess this is where we can refight the vicious monsters if we missed any of them for our beast collecting purposes. Not that I'm like super um, trying to get all the monsters for the beast but but uh, yeah, that's that's there if you want it. Apparently. Oh, we have an ice block there. And there, oh, there's another dragon. Did we fight this one? I don't know. We're going to fight this one now. Along with a couple other monsters. Okay. Well then, let's go for the Quadra Slash. We didn't kill that great saber cat with it, though. We still didn't kill the saber cat. Okay. There we go. And let's get sap on this guy. This is a noble dragon. I don't know if we fought a noble dragon before or not. Ouch. Nice damage output there. And Serena, yeah, heal yourself up. I just don't want stupid things to happen. And Rab... I, Kazam will be fine. And now 
think Serena's the only one that's still standing. Oh. Well then. We'll see if we can kill it. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping for. Okay, Jace is back. There we go. Well, that was easy. You were sitting on your butt. Oh, hey, we have a teleporter here. Where's this gonna take me? Okay, that takes me over to here, but I don't... I don't think I want to be over here. I want to be going north to the... Basically where the Royal Library is, because that's now Trial Isle. This place is weird, and I am very confused right now. And then I see the giant ice boulder there, and I'm like, Ah, oh, we need a ride armor for that. Now, where am I going to get a ride armor? And this is the part where it kind of dawns on me that the way we've been traveling through the Snarfet on this particular trip, or this particular layout of the Snarfet, it's kind of designed so that uh, we travel about it differently than we did in the real world? Is that, that how I phrase that? I guess. And so we do have to take that teleporter over to here in order to get the ride armor. There's my ride armor. And so this area is kind of linking together, but in a weird way. That's well, neat. And Jace, you can probably just go for Falcon Slash here. Yeah, that worked. Thank goodness. These guys aren't that tough. Although I should probably heal up uh, Jace there and do that with Hendrik. And now we can plow through the ice boulders. And we'll go through this one. Okay. And we should be... We should be in the... I don't care about these monsters anymore. I probably fought most of them already anyways. And they're running from us. <laughs> That's wonderful. Uh, I guess I don't need the right armor anymore. Okay. And this will be Trial Isle. Let's see what's in here. We've got a few minutes left. And it leads us back to the realm between worlds, and we have we have a save. St I'm so confused. I'm I'm just very confused right now. So with that, I think I will I will reluctantly drop a save here because I don't know how we're going to get out of this place. Um, but I guess we'll deal with that next time. And we'll see where that teleporter takes us.